Hey you guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. I can't believe I'm starting to film this video because we've been waiting five months for this. Tonight is the night Red Taylor's version comes out and it only felt fitting to start this vlog while I had a peppermint mocha iced latte. I just pulled away from Duncan. I pulled over, turned my car off, put her in park. Not in that order. You have put the car in park and then you turn the car off. Anyways, you guys get the drift, but, uh, or you guys get the gist. I'm too excited to, to speak apparently. Red Taylor's version is coming out tonight at midnight. Now this woman is going to have me running in circles. This isn't a normal release night because the woman, blondie, bestie, global superstar Taylor Swift, the list goes on and on. She, uh, she's going to be chaotic tonight. She's going to be on Jimmy Fallon. She's going to be on Seth Meyers. And then she's releasing her album at midnight. And she tweeted this morning that her All Too Well short film is coming out tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you have no idea how thankful I was when she tweeted that because I was like, okay, what the heck am I supposed to do? Like, and here's my theory. A lot of people are saying they're just going to go back and watch the interviews, but personally for me, I am going to pause the album and watch the interviews and here's why because sometimes um, they don't always upload clips to YouTube like the full interview clip like they'll upload like highlights like say she announces something or like you know she like um, when she was on Jimmy Fallon before and she <laughs> <laughs> hashtag LASIK lover went viral and they uploaded like that clip but they didn't upload her whole interview and I don't want to miss anything so I'm like you know what Jimmy Fallon comes on at 1135 so I'm thinking maybe her segment will be over by then so then at midnight when the album drops I can start listening to Red Taylor's version and then at 1235 I can tune in to Seth Meyers but have like a half an hour of the album under my belt Oh my gosh, this woman is going to have me up. I bet you I'm going to be up till like 5 a.m. Like I bet you that is literally the projected time that I'm going to be in bed. I hope it's sooner, but this woman um, literally, and then Saturday Night Live, like this woman is feeding us so well, um, but I am definitely about to go home and take a nap. Um, Bobby and I are going to hang out for a little bit at like 6.30 ish and it is currently 4.38 so I'm thinking I can get like an hour nap relaxation time in and um, if I go to Starbucks within the segment of this vlog about a million times everybody calm down. I know I'm crazy but like I gotta get that caffeine in um, but anyways you guys I am so excited. I love vlogging release nights for you. It's so nostalgic to me that Red is getting released. I could like cry, like thinking about like her re-recording Red. Red is the album that I officially joined the fandom. Like I had loved Taylor since Fearless, but Speak Now is very to myself. Like I kept up with her, like watched the Thanksgiving special, like went and got like Wonderstruck and all that, but like Red is like, when I started like making my Taylor friends and like, oh, I could like actually cry. Um, I saw her twice on the red tour and it was just so special. Like, oh, the Keds and Diet Coke and Walgreens merch. There was just, it was such a good time. And despite, despite everybody not liking Taylor during that era, which brainwashed but we as a fandom were like so tight-knit and it was so special like the red era was like i was so convinced i was going to meet taylor and i remember walking out of the arena the last time i saw the red tour and i said next era is my era <sighs> oh my gosh i'm gonna cry and that was 1989 and we all know how the story goes from there but she really did take the time to memorize me, my fears, my hopes, and dreams. And back then, I never thought that was possible. And, like, getting to hear her sing that now after all that's happened, 
Oh, I'm gonna cry and like hearing her sing like nonchalance Just like that one word and come back be here. I just know it's gonna be so crisp. I'm so excited you guys Oh my gosh, okay I'm gonna vlog everything for you. I am so excited. I am so excited. I am so excited. I am so excited You got that I'm excited all right, you guys, so I have so much to catch you up on. And um, if you hear that, my dad is watching Lucifer downstairs. That is literally his favorite TV show. Um, but anyways, so I went out with Bobby and I got my third cup of coffee and I'm still sipping on that now. I'm about to get in the shower, get comfortable, and then I'm gonna paint my nails red because I have the ring, but I need the red. So let's go ahead and pull that out. This is my top coat and then this is the red coat. It's called Red It Twice. Oh, that's so cute because like the second red release. Okay. I'll take any opportunity to run with it and scream and be a Swifty. Okay. So, um, yeah. So Taylor's like promo stuff for Jimmy Fallon. Seth Meyers came out and like SNL promo too. And she looks so good and I don't like the way she winked in the Jimmy Fallon promo because every time Taylor Swift winks, I feel threatened. She's going to announce something big. I can feel it in my bones. Don't ask me why. Like, it's just the momentum I'm getting. And she's going to play um, the game that Blake Lively played on, I think it's Jimmy Fallon, but it's called, um, what is it called? box of lies and I'm very excited um but it's like a truth game with Jimmy and I am I'm literally stoked I'm so excited <sighs> so when I was at Marshall's I actually bought a couple things um for the red release tomorrow I found a really cute scarf I found a sweater because I'm gonna have to have two outfits tomorrow one like work outfit but I'm gonna wear red like of course and then um, I'm gonna have my outfit for after work when I go get the album <sighs> I was actually planning to go get the album before work but Taylor Swift literally is gonna be on GMA again tomorrow so like I'm trying to decide like what my game plan is because like GMA ends at 9 I don't know I don't know, you guys are gonna figure it out with me, but I'm so excited, I'm gonna go ahead and shower, and yeah, you guys, I'm so excited! I'm about to paint my nails red, and I'm so excited, because this isn't cutting it. We need red on our nails, like, we're painting the town I'm red. Nails. Emma has red on her nails, so it's my turn. You guys, there is an hour left until Red Taylor's version and the chaos is about to begin in like 35 minutes because she's about to go on Jimmy Fallon. Oh, I feel like the floodgates are literally uh, about to open. Like they're about to explode. Like literally, I feel like, oh my God, I got so excited. My glasses fell. Okay. Not my prescriptions. Literally my heart shaped sunglasses. But like, I, guys, guys. This is my second Red release and I'm gonna cry. Like, I remember the day Red came out so clearly. My mom took me to Walgreens to get the album after work. Like, that's the only album I haven't gotten from Target because um, they had the merch at the time. And I remember I was so excited because I had gotten merch before. And then um, when the album came out, my mom and I went back to Walgreens and got the album so that's red is actually the only Taylor album I have not gotten from Target on release day um speak now I got there from release day um and so on and so forth and I'm so excited to carry that tradition um this is so surreal like I feel like I'm gonna cry literally during state of grace just because like this album holds so many memories I definitely am taking bets that I'm gonna cry during state of grace and I think I'm going to cry during um, probably Holy Ground because like the line tonight I'm going to dance for all that we've been through and stay, stay, stay. It's going to make me cry. Um, what am I forgetting? I feel like I'm going to forget one. But yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm just ready to feel it all. I am so excited. 
it feels like one of those nights. We won't be sleeping. Let it commence right now. Are they playing games with me or is like NBC having issues? <laughs> it's been doing this. Now the screen's dark. It's not my TV. Not now. Now is not the time. But <laughs> they literally said 11 time Grammy Award winner Taylor Swift and then it went. Did you know it? Virginia Tires. I was like, not a commercial right now. But it's out. You guys, it's out. And I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should just go ahead and start listening to it or um, if NBC is going to stop having a meltdown. I don't know what's happening. This, this can't just be me. What the fresh hell is happening? It's back now. Everybody's listening to the album. I'm like, I don't want to miss anything. <gasps> She's about to play a box game. I'm about to play a game called Box and Lies, but I'm going to need some help. She is this week's musical guest on Saturday Night Live, and her album, Red, Taylor's Version, is out at midnight tonight. Please welcome Taylor Swift. Oh my god, I love her so much. Smiley Angel. Guys, this is just like sheer chaos. Literally, everyone is listening to the album. It's 11.58. It's out on Apple Music. <sighs> I'm sitting here watching Jimmy Fallon because I don't want to like miss anything. And oh my gosh, her playing What's in That Box was hilarious. When she said that Grimace from McDonald's was a fuzzy monster with seal hands. I was laughing out loud. Um, literally, I love her so much, but I don't want to miss anything from her interviews, so I'm like gonna watch her interviews. Um, hopefully there's like a little bit of a break between Seth Meyers and, um, and like Jimmy Fallon, Seth Meyers. There's like the TV going on, make sure she doesn't come back on. Oh my God. <sighs> so I can start the album at least between the two interviews, but if they, they, or matching up, um, then I'm just going to, um, probably, like, mute the TV until, like, I see her come on, excuse me, on Seth Meyers, and then I'll just, like, listen to the album. This is chaos. I have the hiccups. Um, I've never felt this much chaos on a release night, but here we go! It's happening! Okay, all right. It is 12.17. Taylor is, I guess, officially off Fallon. I still have the TV on because she'll be coming on Seth Meyers before we know it. But I'm going to start the album. <sighs> this is hers. She posted at midnight this picture um, that is literally quickly, and in the matter of seconds of me laying my eyes on it, became my favorite picture of Taylor. One of my favorites. This is a free woman right here. This is the most, I love this picture so much. I need that on a poster right this second. Um, she's doing all too well 10 minute version on SNL. She's doing a premiere for the all too well short film tomorrow. And I wish I was in New York City, but I'm not. I will be there one release day. Don't you worry. Um, all right, I'm gonna start listening to the album now. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Here's to Taylor's version. Her vocals have me in tears. When I tell you, it is 2.45 in the morning, and I have so much to say. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, first of all, the only thing, I listen to it in order, um, the only thing I can think of to say right now 
is all too well 10 minute version. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jake Gyllenhaal, you're not my friend. She spared him so much over the years. <laughs> the line that broke my heart, like that audibly made me go, <gasps> is like the line, um, oh my god, where she was waiting for him to say love, but he never did. Oh my god. That was a whole journey. I started this journey at 11.35, I guess. We'll call it at that because that's when Jimmy Fallon came on. It is 2.35 a.m. 2.40, oh my god, I don't even know what time it is. It's late. Um, I'm in shock. Message in a bottle is so good. Nothing new really out here making me emotional. Um, yes, Taylor, I will always love you even when you are not new and shiny. You're always going to be new and shiny to me. That Miss Americana reference though. Oh my god. Oh no. My god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I literally run. Okay, I'm going to say it. Run made me think of her and Joe. Look, I know it's a nine-year-old song, but like, I feel like Run is I Know Place's sister, and that's what it deserves, honestly. I, she's going to be on GMA. I wish I had, like, I, her vocals, getting to hear her sing The Lucky One, after everything she's been through over the years, I am not okay. I am all too unwell. Um, honestly, even like the original version of All Too Well, that's track five, is so beautiful. 22, I had my moment. <laughs> I almost do pay more respect to her. Everybody's talking about how Girl at Home is so different, and it is. It sounds like an EDM artist got a hold of it. But you know what? It's called fun, you know? Um I think it's I think it's good. And um the moment I knew was still heartbreaking. Still made me just as mad all these years later. Um it just makes me so happy to know that back then Taylor was sad and she wrote this album. She put it out for us. She saw us gravitate towards these songs. And Oh my gosh. And all these years later, she's so happy and giddy to have it as her own again and release the songs that were supposed to be on it the first time. And I feel so honored to love her. Sincerely, I mean that. Um, I feel so honored to have chosen her all those years ago because I remember when Red came out the first time and hearing lyrics like, Don't You Dream Impossible things. Don't you dream impossible things. Or um, lyrics like, you took the time to memorize me, my fears, my hopes, my dreams. I connect those with Taylor and to think all these years later I finally got just what I was looking for back then. Um, she found out my fears, my hopes, my dreams and I truly do love hanging out with her um, in my bedroom. There's nobody else I'd stay up this late for. Like, that is a promise. Um, oh my gosh. I have so much more to say. I think. I, I, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I am, like, overwhelmed. Like, I'm not even, like, tired right now. I'm just, like, overwhelmed, if that makes sense. Like, as soon as I close my eyes, I'm going to be asleep. But, like, my overwhelming feelings of this record is, like overpowering any tired feelings I could have like I'm just gonna literally just sit there and be like also the very first night so cute so cute love that song oh my gosh I'm literally my feet are going numb I was like sitting on my like knees but oh my god you guys this is so good I'm so proud of Taylor I can't wait to go get the physical copy tomorrow whether it's before work or after, we'll see. I'm definitely getting up for 
Good Morning America, potentially going to Starbucks. Um, it's still not official, but if it's in this vlog, you'll know it happened. <sighs> oh my god. You guys. <laughs> I am so proud of her. Red's finally hers again. Um, okay, I'm gonna sign off for the night. Um, I love you guys, and I will catch you in the morning. Hi. I got... Mm, I'm gonna say four hours of sleep because it was probably like uh, 3 15 ish by the time I fell asleep because I was just laying here like thinking it could have been later to be honest but Taylor is about to be on GMA uh, usually I wake up for GMA at 7 but she's never on at 7 and I think I've learned my lesson um, but I turned on the TV at 8 where's the remote and um I heard that she has not been on yet, and it said coming up Taylor at 8.13, and I know what the announcement is, and I'm so excited, oh my god, um, because I went to my Starbucks app, and I saw this. So I'm very excited. So, Taylor's drink um, is available today, and you're celebrating it with her favorite drink. Let's see, details. Calling all Starbucks lovers, celebrate the launch of Ta Red Taylor's version with her favorite drink, a caramel non fat latte. Order ahead and pick up at your local store. We'll have our red cups ready and her music playing. Stop. That makes me so happy. Um, I think. I've decided that TV is too loud for my liking right now, but, um, sorry guys. Um, um, I'm excited. And I think I'm gonna wait to get the album, um, until later with my mom. Like, that was a plan originally, but, like, I have no control when it comes to Taylor's albums. So I think I'm just gonna go to Target once, like, with my mom today, um, after we both get off work, so... I'm very sleep deprived, but I'm like awake. I'm excited. Um, I did wake up a solid 13 minutes ago, so. Oh boy. Where my Taylor Swift poster still hangs on the wall. All right, make sure you take a picture so we can see that. All right, thank you, Will. Now let's go to Ginger and Rob. Hey, you two. Hey, Michael, we've got that. Why didn't they say anything about Starbucks? I'm actually shocked. But, anyways, there you have it. All right, you guys, I'm still in my garage. I've decided that it's probably best if I just mobile order it. Let's go get it. I'm so excited. Okay, you guys, I'm at Starbucks. I'm about to go in and pick it up. It's a good thing that I mobile ordered and I went ahead and said for inside because the drive-thru is so busy. And so I'm gonna go in, I'm so excited. They didn't write anything on the cup, but it's so pretty and I'm so excited. Um, it is very hot right now, so I'm gonna wait, but um, it is a caramel latte grande um it is non-fat too but like i said oh that's kind of good okay taylor cheers to you cheers to red being yours again i'm gonna say something it tastes good because it's taylor's favorite it's honestly pretty good like I can't lie it's it's very good um it's very light tasting which I really like um I really pulled over parked my car and said let me let me try this real quick um but I am I I'm so excited I love it so much um and I I love I love that she did a Starbucks promo because that's somewhere like I go all the time so like it's really fun that she did this oh my gosh I am at Target and I'm about to go in and buy it and I am absolutely stoked and I on the way here I was listening to Red 
Taylor's version. And I could not believe that Taylor Swift gatekeeped message in a bottle for that long. Taylor Swift, what in the world? I literally, literally cannot get past all too well 10 minute version. Like I just have to keep replaying it. Like the way, okay guys, I hold, hold the phone because I need to like address this. The way this woman literally, literally sings this line in particular sends me into a spiral every single time. So she said, and there we are again when nobody had to know. You kept me like a secret, but I kept you like an oath. Sacred prayer, and we'd swear to remember it all too well. The way she literally made the line following oath sound like an oath. Like, she literally, the way she says sacred prayer, and we'll swear to remember it all too well like I lose my mind it is the little details like that that send me into the oblivion like are we kidding like I I literally cannot get past that if I tried so anyways I'm gonna take a deep breath we're gonna go into Target and they look really crowded um I think it honestly might be the parking lot though or maybe I just never come at this time um I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I, oh my gosh, let me grab my stuff. Let me put my, I brushed my hair on. <laughs> let me put that back in the center console. Let me zip up my purse because I had it open because I pulled my camera out. I'm, I'm frazzled, you guys. I retouched up my lipstick too. All right, you guys. All right. <sighs> We're going in. We're going in. Honestly, this is one of the only targets that has the CD. Um, and I came as quickly as I could. Um, this one I don't think has the vinyl. They say they don't unless like they haven't updated like Target's website or whatever. Wow, the bag's under my eyes right now. Amazing. Um, but I think they just have the CD, but we're gonna go see. Let's go see. Yeah. Y'all. I mean, it explains everybody's background. Guys, that was quite the journey. Um, they didn't have it out. So I asked and um, he went and looked in the back and then like, they were like, yeah, we don't have it, but they checked another store for me. And then um, he was like literally walking back um, to like the side where there were boxes and they literally were just sitting there by fate. So I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna definitely go to another Target later um, with my mom. I'm, I'm gonna get probably the vinyl and probably another CD. I always try to get like two copies. I don't know, I'm that person, but I'm so happy. <laughs> Um, so I got it and um, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so excited. There's a specific picture that I absolutely have to recreate and it's coming and I'm so excited. Also Taylor is doing an event right now in New York City and I, people are meeting her. She's doing like an all too well short film, um, like kind of like premiere party and I'm not gonna lie, I wish I was in New York right now, but like. I'm so excited, you guys. Lady and the Tramp. We're having dinner in T minus, literally, one hour before All Too Well premieres. But we're having dinner. Not us literally about to watch the All Too Well short film premiere in my car. Yeah, it's fun. It is fun. I mean, we're. We're back at Target. I feel like we're at a drive in movie or something. Even. Oh my god. <laughs> but we're waiting. We've got. 60 seconds. <laughs> Happy to be part of the crew, yeah. Guys, they're sold out of all albums now to the point where I can't take a picture. So um, if you see me pull a Lindsay McGuire and pull the same outfit for tomorrow, yeah. I didn't wear this shirt literally all day. I just wore it for like a couple hours tonight and it's over my sweater. But I'm gonna pull together a different outfit and we're gonna be bound and determined. Our Saturday mission is to find this album. And the vinyl. <laughs> Guys, not, not me in the middle of Target and Taylor dropping all too well merch. Good morning guys. It is now Saturday and my mom and I Hello, peeps. <laughs> we're headed to Target. Uh, we're taking a little jaunt to another city for it. Um, just the city over, you know, no big deal. Last night, um, 
I was online and I was trying to figure out who had them because everywhere in my area sold out and I'm my, a lot of my friends are having the same issue. Um, and so I went on and I saw that there was one vinyl left in stock. So I placed an order for pickup and we're gonna go get it. But I checked this morning and it says that they have three now. So I'm hoping I can take some pictures with the CDs and the vinyls and I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm digging this headband, but it might come off, might come off, who knows. But yeah, you guys, I'm excited and I got my peppermint mocha. Probably gonna get another Taylor drink. I'm on number two already in this video, but um, yeah. We obtained the goods. Finally. I'm in Starbucks and they're playing Taylor and it's making me so happy. They played Evermore when I was walking in, which is my brand. There's people over there staring at me. I don't care. Guys, this is truly, I love this. So I bought my red CD out of the car and I have, and it, they finally put, and it says Tay's Latte. It made me so happy. Um, but my mom took some great pictures and we're excited. I've been listening to the same three songs on repeat. Like, I kid you not, Message in a Bottle, the very first night, and All Too Well, the 10 minute version. I just cannot get past these songs. Like, are we kidding? Are we kidding? Like, literally, Taylor Swift, why did she keep Message in a Bottle and the very first night in the vault for that long? The audacity, but I'm so glad it's here. Um, but the 10 minute version of All Too Well is just, I, I literally can't stop thinking about it if I tried. So I'm so excited, so excited to see her perform it tonight on SNL. Anyways, this is a really long um, release day vlog and usually I stop recording, you know, maybe like the day after I'll be like, okay guys, so like it's the day after. Um, but like, there's so much going on, like I'm not stopping now, SNL is coming on, but uh, I, guys, I was in my element earlier when we went to Starbucks and I walked in and when I walked in, they were playing Evermore, like the song Evermore. And it just made me so happy because when I went to Starbucks yesterday, they weren't playing her music or anything. Um, and they didn't write like Taylor's latte on the cup. They just wrote what it was, which is a non-fat, um, caramel latte. And, um, they were playing it today. And then when I was about to order, the 10 minute version of All Too Well came on. So literally like by the time I ordered and like by the time I waited for my drink, like I was just getting to listen to All Too Well, the 10 minute version in Starbucks were people staring at me because I was singing along. Yes, but like, it's okay. And then my mom and I went outside and took pictures and it was so much fun. Like it's those little moments that mean the world to me. And um, I have always just been so grateful like that my parents like love Taylor too and like get excited when Taylor does stuff. Um, and they like get excited for releases too and they like wanna take pictures and stuff. <sighs> I'm so happy I found the vinyl today too. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, so my point is I'm about to get in the shower and then it's SNL time and I'm so excited. You guys, I just want literally everyone to know that I am going feral, feral over Taylor Swift's SNL look. SNL just came on. It is... 11:31 right now, but they posted on Twitter um her little promo reel and she's wearing a plaid matching and she's wearing a plaid matching like with pants and her hair looks gorgeous. Oh my god, guys, it's SNL time. I'm so excited. Colors stay my yes, queen. <laughs> Taylor skit <laughs> had me absolutely laughing um but all too well the 10 minute version performed oh my god I literally had the chills like I was being a background singer and I was absolutely screaming along she looks so beautiful and I'm so proud of her like 
When she wrote the song, this was not an easy song for her, but it has turned into something beautiful and such a beautiful memory with us and Taylor, and I'm so proud of her for releasing the 10 minute version and singing it and I am just oh my gosh it's it feels so good to like see her perform again and I promise you as soon as I can as soon as there's an opportunity I am seeing her live in person it's been since 2019 and I miss her so bad um I would jump at the chance to see her um, and I can't wait for that moment. Hopefully, maybe someday soon, um, as opposed to, I, I mean, I just want to see her during my 22nd year. Um, because, like, seeing her while I'm 22, that's just like, come on. Come on. Guys, I was literally going to wrap up this vlog today. Try and put my thoughts together, but guess what? Guess what? Taylor Swift said no ma'am no I literally woke up this morning just like tuned in to see like if there was like any more SNL promo or anything that came out overnight when I was t catching up on some sleep I woke up about mm, I'd say 7 30 and then like I was up for about an hour and then I went back to sleep and I literally I literally snapchatted Alexis I said I want to catch up on my sleep, but Taylor, dear blondie, um, I'm scared she's going to do something else. And I wasn't fully asleep, but I heard my phone like vibrating and I was like, oh, okay. Like more SNL pictures probably came out. Like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to sleep for a little bit. Then I get a call and I'm like, oh no, that usually means that Taylor's doing something unless it's like you know my parents but like <laughs> I was like oh no so then I by the time I got to my phone um, Natalie had already hung up because she thought I was gonna come to the phone and I went on Twitter and I saw that she's releasing a music video for I bet you think about me and Blake Lively um, directed it and I'm really stoked so guess what hi we're extending this release day vlog <laughs> guys literally literally this is the longest release day vlog I think I've ever done like this is absolutely nuts it's not stopping like just what I'm about to like say okay great like I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it off today um, you know something else happens so you guys know what I'm gonna do before Taylor Swift does anything else I'm going to wrap up this video so um, I am so happy because today I posted a video trying Taylor's latte and I kind of just gave you guys a little synopsis how I was feeling about red Taylor's version because I knew this vlog wouldn't be up like right away and it just made me so happy like to see how excited you guys are to see like my release day or my release weekend I should say and you guys I just I love you guys so much like it just makes me so happy and so I wanted to wrap this vlog up by talking about the I bet you think about me music video and I just want to say Taylor and Red chef's kiss oh my goodness like her hair looks so good. Her hair in general is just so long and like so healthy looking and oh my gosh. Um, but it's such a cute mu music video. Um, I love it so much. I love that Blake Lively directed it and I think it's so, so good. Like um, my favorite scene in it is either, okay, so like my, I guess the two connect. That's why I like paused. Um, definitely the favorite scene and that is when Taylor is like doing like this with the kids and she's like doing the individual fingers and they all like start to go and like he gets up like what are you doing and then like the camera flashes and um, it goes back to ta Taylor in a wedding dress. Taylor in a wedding dress. Everybody freeze. Oh my gosh. 
but the amount of Easter eggs that's in that video, like Taylor's playing games with us, like the whole music video felt like Speak Now, but at the same time, the whole entire music video was like, okay, like, interesting, Taylor, like, there's five tiers on the cake, there's five tiers on, like, the dessert tray, like, I see you, I see you, like, are we 1989 Speak Now, like, you're honestly... I feel like it's very clearly one of them in her head, but like in our head, she's trying to mess with us, so she's like giving clues for both, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, you guys, I am just literally so proud of Taylor, I could, I could cry. Like, I kid you not when I tell you, I have listened to All Too Well, the 10 minute version so many times, and um... I, I just sincerely, I want to do like a separate video on the vault tracks, um, kind of like I did for Fearless where I like ranked them, but that's going to be like very hard. Um, but I don't know if I can actually do that. Like now that I say it, maybe we'll just like talk about the vault tracks. I don't know if I can, I, I don't know if I can rank them. Like I have very like three clear favorites, but like as I say that, I'm like, wait, no, like, make that, like, all of them. Um, so, yeah, I just, I'm very proud of Taylor. And I'm so proud of her for having the strength that she does. Like, it just makes me so happy to hear her say, like, now I'm genuinely happy, like, during Red this time. Like, before, like, I would cry during interviews, um, or between interviews, I should say. And now, like, I'm just, she's, like, chilling, she's happy, and Red is finally hers again. I'm so proud of her for telling her story visually and verbally and all too well. It truly um, is one of my favorite things Taylor's ever done, and I say that about every single time that she releases an album. I say that every single time, but um, I'm sincerely serious on this one. Like, sincerely so powerful and sincerely something that a lot of women go through and a message that we all need to see and personally I went through something just like that around my 21st birthday so it was very interesting to see the parallels um and mm -hmm, men interesting people. Sometimes in life people lead you to believe that you are one thing and you're not. Sometimes people believe or lead you to think that you mean more to them than you actually do. Um, so it is really really heartwarming to hear Taylor's vulnerability through these songs, to hear her all these years later like have that strength in her voice when she sings like all too well and all these songs unread. Like I mean that like in a way of power like even on SNL sincerely like she was like you could just feel the emotion and like it was like that powerful emotion it wasn't like oh my god I'm gonna bust into tears right now it's like all right here's what happened to me and I am saying it period and I'm happy but I want you guys to know that I'm a real human and this has happened to me and it's just like such I can't get over this release weekend. Honestly, like, so much happened, as you guys see in this vlog, but, like, sincerely, it made me so happy. And you guys make me so happy, and I'm so thankful that I got to document this weekend for you guys. And I did order merch all weekend. So, um, you guys will definitely be seeing, you know, stuff like that coming but I just want to go ahead and wrap up this vlog and so I can start editing for you guys I love you guys so much thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you I know this vlog is probably long so thank you for letting me share my release with you and I love you guys and I can't wait to see what Taylor does next I miss her so much more than I could ever say and um yeah uh Go stream Red, Taylor's version. Go stream All Too Well, the 10 minute version. Um, Message in a Bottle and the very first night, absolute bops. Like, are, are we kidding? Um, Forever Winter, literally beautiful. Okay, I, I could go on and on and on and on and on. You guys get the point. I love Taylor Swift. I love this so much. And 
red has truly just like a new meaning towards me like it's just a full circle moment like knowing that red is an album about heartbreak but now it's so powerful to see taylor being so happy and like giddy and strong and powerful emotionally charged during this era like it is just oh so powerful it inspires me and i love you guys so much thank you thank you thank you for watching this video i hope it entertained you in some way and i sincerely hope i see you yes you in the next one bye guys